You what's know, the pain on that on the liver punches? What could that? Dude, what's the, what's the damage that can do that shuts you? That makes you like I've seen people crumble on. You want me it to hit you with one? No, yes. no. Please but, hit no, you with a liver punch. <laughs> but show it, me on Lewis. You don't want it. <laughs> it it's a horrible feeling where it like like shocks your body. Let me like, say, Jeff. Not too long ago on this channel, we overviewed a compilation of knockouts from the most vicious low kickers in history. Today's video is dedicated to a similar topic. But athletes' bodies will hurt a lot more, and knockouts are way more brutal. Dear friends, get comfortable as you're about to see a compilation of the most violent clashes when fighters won by using the weapon of mass destruction, liver shots. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words, and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Oleg Kozanov, Arthur Pronin, AMC Fight Night 106, 2021. Last year, one of the popular Russian promotions called AMC organized a fight between two promising fighters. Multiple country champions and prize winners of many sports disciplines, Oleg Kozanov and Arthur Pronin shared the octagon at the 106th event, which was also headlined by no less a popular brother of Fedor Emelianenko, Alexander. So the fight starts. Oleg Kozanov, fighter in blue gloves, Arthur Pronin in red. At first, fighters were feeling each other out and didn't make any definitive decisions. Oleg Kozanov attacked first. His tactic becomes evident closer to the middle of the round. He tries to reach his opponent's body more frequently, and every consequent attack is aimed to find a breach in his armor. The next five minutes mostly resembled the previous round. Apart from explosive combinations, Arthur Pronin complemented his game with clinch and knees. But as we can see later, even that wouldn't save him from what was going to happen. In three minutes, a single but nonetheless vicious and precise attack to the liver from Kozanov literally snatched Pronin's whole desire to continue fighting. He looked very impressive. As soon as this strike landed exactly to the targeted spot and the fighter from the red corner felt that burning pain, he immediately let it known and figured out himself that he couldn't keep on going. Dan Hooker, Edson Barboza, UFC on Fox 31, 2018. On December the 15th of 2018, UFC on Fox 31 featured a fight between Dan Hooker, who was just at the beginning of his rise and already familiar with the taste of crushing defeats, but still dangerous, Edson Barbosa. Even though the Brazilian is recognized as a very dangerous kicker who can surprise at any moment, to stop the New Zealander, he needed two and a half rounds. Only at the middle of the final round did Barbosa score the TKO victory after another strike to the body. Dan Hooker simply couldn't bear this pain anymore and fell down on the canvas. These kinds of moments always look too vicious. Jose Aldo, Jeremy Stevens, UFC on Fox 30, 2018. In the same year, Though out of his prime but still extremely dangerous, Brazilian veteran Jose Aldo went up against the once promising prospect Jeremy Stevens. Their fight took place at UFC on Fox 30 on July the 28th of 2018. Despite quite a decent shape and a younger age, the American fighter couldn't oppose the legendary veteran with almost nothing. The first round was mostly dictated by Aldo. A beautiful ending of this rivalry came at the very last minute. A hard strike from Jose to Jeremy's liver did not leave him any chances. Symbolic finish earned the Brazilian a stoppage victory via TKO. Gennady Golovkin, Matthew McLean, WBA middleweight title, 2013. You can't go without boxing in the compilation of liver knockouts. In the summer of 2013, a legendary modern boxer, Gennady Golovkin, faced a promising descendant from England, Matthew McLean. 
the WBA middleweight championship was at stake. The first two rounds were entirely dictated by the unbeatable champion. The boxer from England only made an impression of some resistance, but mostly clinched with Gennady and hoped for the best. In the third round, the undisputed champion simply shined in the ring. He went after Matthew with continuous attacks and constantly made him back up. Closer to the middle of the round, he ended this performance with an extremely ferocious combination, finished with a hard hook to the liver. It was one of the best performances in the professional career of this dominant champion. David Calvo, Bukhal Banchamek, K1 World Max Final 2013. In 2013, K1 Grand Prix Finals featured a fight between two young Thai boxing representatives, David Calvo and Bukhal Banchamek. The scrap starts off with everyone's favorite kicks to different levels. Banchamek moves forward and irradiates terrifying confidence with every fiber of his soul. He mixes head and body strikes and presses his opponent to the ropes. David tries to fight back, but Bukal immediately punishes him for every mistake, and soon a hard knee makes Calvo crouch. But it's not over yet. A couple of seconds later, Banchamek delivers a famous tie combination. Nice liver punch and drops him. Hard hook to the body, then mixes in a quick high kick and another hook to the same spot. It seems like David Calvo managed to catch a breather and recover. After the fight resumed, Bacal continued to smash and press him to the ropes. Soon he pushed him back to the other corner and capitalized on his mistake of throwing an empty knee. A vicious liver tearing hook puts an exclamation mark in this fight. And he puts a second shot to the liver, drops David Calvo, he is in obvious... It's painful to watch. ...before the end of the first round, and look at... Anthony Pettis, Donald Cerrone, UFC on Fox 6, 2013. In the beginning of 2013 at UFC on Fox 6, Showtime and Cowboy shared the octagon for the first time. At that moment, both athletes were in their primes and destroyed every opponent in front of them. Guys spent some time feeling each other out. While Donald, as usual, began turning up, Anthony Pettis decided that the start of the fight was the best moment for a fatal attack. When the first round reached its equator, Showtime, with no hesitation, landed a quick and sharp strike to Cowboy's liver. Changed the tempo here, Joe. Yeah, it certainly did. And he got him again. He's down. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's finish. That's it. it. It's all That's over. It. Anthony Showtime Pettis. Such a precise shot did not leave Cerrone any chances to survive. He instantly folded in half and suffered a stoppage loss via TKO. Marcos Maidana, Angel Martinez. WBA vacant title 2012. The fight between Marcos Maidana and Angel Martinez for the WBA vacant welterweight title happened in December of 2012. Throughout the first round, boxers showed a more or less even fight. From the second one, the obvious advantage of Marcos Maidana became evident. His strikes felt a lot more significant and overall, his whole behavior translated clear confidence. He even was a few steps away from winning closer to the end of the round. But that outcome was postponed for the next one. Final three minutes happened to be the most intense for Martinez. The only thing he did was receive damage for one minute straight. And the beginning of the second one finally put this rivalry to rest. Ruthless hook from Marcos to the liver simply made him go down on his knees and snap in half. Thus, Marcos became the WBA welterweight champion. Arthur Gusinov, Evgeny Fomenko, M1 Challenge 36 2012. The next fight that we want to talk about happened exactly 10 years ago. 
On December the 8th of 2012, the main card of M1 Challenge featured a clash between two highly promising prospects. First one from Dagestan, Arthur Gosinov, with a record of 10 to 3, and the second one, Evgeny Fomenko, with a record of 18 wins and 7 defeats. The fight started off rather fast. As the bell rang, the Dagestani fighter immediately began to land quick and sharp kicks. It didn't take Evgeny Fomenko too long to respond. He decided not to take risks and instantly took his opponent to the ground. Arthur Kuzinov acted accordingly. He immediately blocked his opponent's hand and waited. After a short period of time, the referee stood the fighters up due to a lack of action. And there's what we're here for today. As soon as the fight continued, Tornado distracted Fomenko with a sweepy high kick, only to slice his liver with the very next spinning attack. On the replay, it's clearly seen that Evgeny Fomenko tried to go to the ground again, but at the moment he received that strike, he immediately stopped and figured that it's over. This knockout still appears in various highlight compilations and considering the whole fight, it's understandable why. It looked very brutal. Brock Lesnar, Alistair Overeem, UFC 141 2011 Brock Lesnar broke into the world's best league rather precipitously. He debuted in the UFC after his very first professional fight. Despite it not being very successful, he soon managed to bounce back and conquer the championship. After losing to Cain Velasquez at the 121st event, the Beast was planning to have a farewell fight. At least he thought so back then. He was given prime Alistair Rovereem, whose physique alone inspired fear and terror. Their fight happened at the end of 2011 at UFC 141. This clash was mostly one-sided. Overeem had a clear advantage in the stand-up, which he gladly capitalized on. Throughout the half of the round, he hammered Lesnar's midsection with ferocious knees. And at a certain moment, Brock couldn't handle another heavy kick straight to the liver. At first, he almost didn't react, but pain gradually pierced his body. He immediately sat down on his butt and gave Alistair Overeem the TKO win. Mirko Krokop, Ibrahim Megomedov, Pride FC Critical Countdown 2005 Let's go back to times of classic pride, the times that many lovers of vicious and ruthless old school remember with a sigh. In 2005, a former Croatian policeman, Mirko Filipovic, shared the Japanese ring with the Dagestani prospect, Ibrahim Megomedov. The fight started off in a measured manner. Nothing really happened for quite some time. Soon, both fighters began to throw single attacks. All in all, it became evident who targets what. While the Dagestani fighter actively worked with his hands and tried to catch the Croatian's head, Mirko landed precise kicks to the body. And after three minutes into the fight, closer to the middle of the round, the Croatian fighter landed that sharp kick straight to the liver. You know when Mirko Krokop's in the fight again going to the Oh, he's got a oh, liver kick! Liver shot. It's over and out! And that's it! The Dagestani didn't even figure out what happened at first. Only a second later, after the strike, he screamed in an unbearable pain and cuddled in the corner of the ring. Right hospital, left cemetery. Arturo Gatti, Leonard Doran. Super Lightweight WBS title 2004 On July the 24th of 2004, one of the most legendary boxers in the sport, Arturo Storm Gatti, had his first WBC title defense in the first welterweight class. Gatti's opponent was a former lightweight champion of the world, at that time unbeatable Romanian boxer Leonard Doran. Boxers began to fight rather cautiously, first round was mostly about feeling out process, even though Gatti looked more confident. In the beginning of the second one, it seemed that Doran adapted to his opponent and began to make things even. 
However, at the end of the round, Getty landed a crushing left hook to the liver, after which Leonard crouched and then fell down on the canvas, not being able to get up on the referee's count. A very violent but decisive title defense from the legendary boxer. Got Boss Rutan Jason De Lucia. Boss Rutan, a true MMA legend. We already mentioned the veteran from the Netherlands in the previous video about low kick knockouts. But because Rutan always was a versatile fighter, and by the way, one of the popularizers of liver strikes in MMA, it would be a crime if we didn't include him in this compilation. In 1996, a few years prior to his official retirement, a more experienced Hollander shared the ring with a young opponent in Jason De Lucia. Their fight was organized at the Pancrase Truth 6 event, which rules were that athletes fight with bare knuckles with one major condition. Open fist strikes are allowed only to the body, while the neck or head can only be hit with a palm. The start of the fight was rather measured. At and first, both go. used kicks to different levels and tried to control yeah. distance. Boss was the first to turn things up. He landed a fist strike I to the chest, the but connected a little bit higher, for which the referee warned him. The veteran acknowledged his mistake and quickly recalibrated. Things were going smoothly at first. Veteran was decisively outstriking the American fighter and let him know that it was going to be a long night for him. After a while, veteran pressed De Lucia to the fence and threw three vicious strikes to the liver with all his rage. And now the third one comes. Boom. And that's the one that takes him out. The American went down screaming in pain. Surprisingly, the fight was not over yet. Jason managed to get himself together and got up. But he didn't know that he was waking such an evil in his opponent that the rest of the fight would only be worse. Soon, Boss dropped his opponent again, but this time with a heavy kick to the body. Now, where was this kick? And he says that this kick was in the groin. He completely forgot about other targets and focused only on his opponent's liver. Bang, bang, and that's ooh. This replay clearly shows how painful it is for Jason. He simply stares with goggled eyes somewhere in the void and tries to recover. You wish that kind of suffering on nobody. There it is guys, liver strikes are one of the most efficient attacks in boxing and MMA. They often lead to fights being stopped due to a knockout. Compared to kidneys, the liver is barely protected by muscle. A missed strike in that area stimulates nerve endings that are directly linked with the vegetative system. Liver contracts on one side and extends to the other, which sends a signal to the brain that turns on a defensive reaction. Blood pressure goes down, athlete experiences spasm and finds himself on the canvas, pressing his knees to the chest. However, what is more remarkable is that the whole process described earlier happens in just a few seconds. But to recover and get back to normal, the system needs time. That's why a 10 second count for a knockdown is often not enough to recover from a missed liver strike. Recently, not many used this opponent of mass destruction. At an earlier time, attacks to the liver could be seen more frequently. It's kind of weird to be honest. It's a real art that, with proper training and approach, can turn a fighter into a machine. Overall, you get it. Leave your opinions about this video in the comments below. What did you feel watching it? And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and share your ideas for the future videos. See you soon.